So, Stephen, do you think Bitcoin has further to fall and how far, like below 20 or not? Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Well, I do believe that Bitcoin has a little bit further to fall from where it is today. Uh, we are pretty close to the bottom. And from here, I think uh, in the long run, we're going to be doing just fine. But really, everything depends on macro at the moment, uh, inflation, as well as what risk assets do in a hawkish Fed. Hawkish Fed. I think about the letter that Dan Moorhead of Pantera wrote to investors. I got it in my inbox today. And this idea that rates are going much higher than is expected. How is that going to play into where Bitcoin goes next? Yeah, so is anytime that liquidity is being taken out of this, uh, the system, which is what's happening right now, all risk assets uh, will continue to fall. So Bitcoin, luckily, and, and also unfortunately, earlier this year, uh, did fall quite a bit due to some local contagion risk. But Bitcoin is was the first asset to go. We're waiting for the rest of the financial markets to catch up. And by the way, I agree with Dan that we do have a lot further to go as far as rate hikes. Mm -hmm. We think uh, rate hikes, we think we'll see the Fed target rate somewhere between 375 and 400 by the end of the year. So what does this mean for non-Bitcoin crypto assets? What does it mean for Ethereum, which is about to hit a really pivotal moment in its life cycle? People fall on two sides of the merge here. You have some that are selling into the merge, some that are kind of Bitcoin maxis here that are really more focused on the benefits that mining provides. How do you feel about this move to proof of stake? Well, I don't necessarily think a uh, move to proof of stake is a great thing for Ethereum in the short run. In the long run, it might actually work out. But the Ethereum network is actually more secure as proof of, as proof of work. And that's what really makes Bitcoin the most secure network is a long period of time through proof of work where essentially you have computers or validators that are validating transactions all over the world in a decentralized manner. When you move to proof of stake, that, that really falls into the hands of a few. And those are the ones that stake their tokens to master nodes or, or validators. Uh, this is how some other more enterprise related blockchains work, such as Avalanche or Zilliqa, where, uh, where there's a more enterprise application. But in terms of Ethereum goes, uh, the security will you know, need to be seen how that's going to work out because you know, we, we really think that if you're holding, say, a you know, million dollar plus NFT, and you're relying on the Ethereum network and it's changing right now, that may not be a great place to be right now. Okay, so where are you placing your bets? Obviously, Valkyrie has exposure to, you know, the largest cryptocurrencies by market cap. You know, you know which ones are you leaning into and leaning out of? Yeah, right now, Bitcoin is really the, the flight to safety uh, for a lot of our funds and where, where we're really looking at. Uh, some of the more established proof of stake protocols are also a great place to be. Uh, places like uh, Avalanche and, and Zilliqa. So these are these are the ones that we're really looking at to uh, to move into. Uh, we also have active accounts where we can take risk off the table in times of uncertainty, like we did at the beginning of this year through through most of the year. Uh, so we're really moving out of anything that. Uh, has too much exposure to ETH right now until we see this merge goes through sometime in middle of September and into some of some of the safer, uh, you know, larger uh, crypto protocols. What about Solana? How do you feel about that, given more of the NFT ecosystem is also going towards Solana? You think about Magic Eden and the success that they've had there. Do you, but also very polarizing in terms of an asset. Do you think that that has any room to benefit as if some of the things you're saying about Ethereum plays out? Yeah, Solana is really one of those blockchains that uh, sacrificed security for speed. Uh, it's still a work in progress. Uh, I don't think it's necessarily a flight to safety, especially if you care about safe, uh, security right now. And that's really our biggest fear on Ethereum is, will it turn out to be in this, in this new entity as proof of stake protocol, more like Solana and a lot less like Bitcoin. So, uh, so we're cautious on Solana, though we're not selling it. Where does Ethereum end the year? Are you selling Ethereum? We, we, we think that Ethereum very well could get back to 1,000 or even lower if the merge doesn't go well. If the merge does go as expected, and, and by the way, there's not a whole lot of doubts out there that it won't, but there is a big risk that it will. 
then we could see Ethereum really rally. So we're kind of holding off until September before we make any big bets on Ethereum.